So welcome back to Genesis Engineers Academy. So in this video, we are going to solve some of the problems given on dimensioning in various examinations. So previous year's questions, I am going to solve these questions now. So redraw the following figure. To the full scale by correcting the errors in dimensioning as per SP 46 1988 adoption. So that was the given uh, figure, and you have to correct the thing. So this is an I section, so which is generally what you call uh, symmetric uh, about y axis or about x axis, but uh, that is not the case in this. Okay, so I have drawn to full scale, so keeping the distance 30 and the bottom flange is 64 and web is 25 like that. And have, what I have to do is, in this case, I will tell you what is uh, this one. So to dimension uh, this uh, top one, so this is, you show this one, so this dimension is here, okay, so very nearer to this one. So, this must be at least 8 to 10, ok. So, that you have to keep in mind. And uh, this is unidirectional. So, you can also keep the unidirectional, but I follow that is uh, aligned system, ok. You can write as per this one. So, he has not uh, mentioned specifically what uh, uh, method you have to adapt, either alignment method or unidirectional method. So, the problem was given in unidirectional method, but I am following the alignment method, ok. So, ok now, and in this case for 8 dimension, so these dimensions are crossing 8 and 25, you can understand. Next one is, he has used to dimension, this is extension line and he has used the body also, that is the boundary also or otherwise side of the this I section. So, this is not uh, allowable. And here in this case also, you have, he has uh, crossed the two dimensional lines and also he has used the this one as a uh, extension line. And uh, for 14, you understand, for 14, he has used this body as the this line as uh, extension line. This is not allowed. This is not allowed. This is not allowed crossing and as well using boundary. You understand? So, this is okay. Okay, what I follow? See, simply the solve this one. I have not used at all any body reference as extension line. So, I have divided everything. See, so this I have used that is. This is a chain dimension and this is a parallel dimension like this. I have combined to use this. You got my point? So, for that uh, I can mention, see I have drawn all the things. You wait for that one, animation. Okay. So, what I have missed in this case, see. So, this 8 has been gone up. So, you can for this line you can also draw extension like this one. Since it is 8, so you cannot uh, have uh, that is uh, adjust arrows within this uh, small length. So, and put this uh, text inside. I have taken outside that I already explained in dimensioning how to do this uh, dimensioning. And this uh, 30 is also there. Okay. So, now it is 10. So, for small dimensions, so you have to put like this one that I already explained and I have used this one. What dimension I have taken? This is chain dimensioning. So, text must be like this one. Okay. So, here I have missed this arrow that is. 
okay right you can put like that one you can put uh, arrow like that and also put to uh, this 14 outside if it's not possible okay so how user 64 he has given 30 has given 80 has given 10 25 9 everything i have used this so don't use this uh, this uh, figure uh, sides uh, or picture sides uh, or view sides uh, as extension lines adu vaadakodu you should not use that okay next uh, that is uh, next one is uh, read out the following figure to the full scale by aligned system so in this case if you observe clearly everything is inside see this one this 15 is inside so this is inside this is inside and moreover this dimension has used this side this side as extension line here also this 15 has used extension line but uh, it is not so this body is used and so this one right and uh, it is very narrow very small so it should be far away that is uh, around the 6 or 8 uh, mm far away or uh, you can put it like uh, one that is uh, 10 mm okay so you observe how did i done that one so for this uh, any hole for uh, this one you have to mention the location of this one okay on x axis on y axis so that is very important so he has mentioned this is also another cycle that is a circle so uh, i have not used this uh, 20 as this one in the case of this one so this i have taken outside okay that is one correction and i have taken 15 so he has given 25 he has given 25 that i have shown here outside that is 25 okay so since i have given as 40 he has given and this if you subtract to 40 Minus twenty five, what would get fifteen? So that you need not mention. If you want to mention this one, you can simply say it is fifteen. You can you can draw this fifteen uh, dimension, and you can omit this one. Need not. Okay, so over dimensioning is also restricted. Okay, now this is fifteen uh, outside. I have taken. If needed, you can take that one. nothing wrong but as far as possible you have to take the all the dimension text extension everything outside the view so this is view so my concentration is to keep all the things outside this boundary or otherwise picture or otherwise view i hope you understood now the another question is this the lines are wrong dimension line text is okay dimension line okay text is okay what are the wrong the thing it has drawn extension line all in all the cases in the radius and diameter it has put r after the dimension phi after the dimension that is not allowed as per this 1980 a2 rules okay so this is also okay only wrong thing is dimension uh, that is uh, extension line so i have redrawn as per the full scale and i have followed the what that is so the r must be all things must be arrow and to try to use uh, in this thing what is the wrong thing i have drawn so they they won't consider as a rank
they won't consider it as a wrong but uh, instead of that uh, you can write like this unmistakably i have written like that so this is more as per rule but in practice they allow you like this but what i have done he has missed the this uh, di- diameter dimension line and uh, he has to use this uh, this as the ladder so ladder must be that is 45 degrees at termination so here the extension line is far away so i have drawn this one a small gap that is allowed 1 mm gap is allowed it's not uh, mandatory to uh, touch with this uh, boundary line so you can use this one but in this case he has used one he has another one so in this type of a parallel uh, system you have to use same that is uh, extension line for that one so to remove that one i have used this one if i wanted to use this one so i can write like this one same way okay okay what is this it is unidirectional it is unidirectional okay so it is unidirectional so you can use uh, uh, whatever if uh, spe- if uh, uh, not specified so that is i have not uh, use anything inside the view read uh, the following figure in progressive dimension see this one so what is meant progressive dimension one reference line must be there for all dimensioning lines one extension line is used for all the second extension is as per the dimension see this one i have drawn this figure okay as it is so first horizontally or vertically i have take up this this is called progressive first i have taken that is uh, small dimension and i have taken this extension line and for this dimension also this extension line for this also i have used the same extension line so this is the other di- extension line for this dimension other dimension line for 20 another uh, that is other dimension line that is extension line for 40 this we call it as tan 20 40 it's a progressive also called as parallel system parallel dimensioning like that i will also use this see this one got it so this we call it as progressive if uh, one more thing is suppose he added that is uh, this is aligned system so you have to break this line and put this dimension at this place so okay so this uh, so i am able to draw that is on a plane i have not used so this is same arrows so this length and this length must be same read draw the figure to full scale and dimension by using aligned dimension so he has also given aligned only and i also followed the aligned only you understand so what are the things and he has used the whole center line as extension line that is okay but this dimension is inside here this is unidirectional this is aligned one this is not unidirectional and as well as not aligned system see this one and this is the smallest one and this has to move up and this has to come down okay so this is not allowed as per aligned or anything so it should be okay if text is horizontal you have to break this dimension line otherwise you have to turn that is left turn mark and this is as another dimension line here so 
to keep all the dimensions i will try all the dimension dimension text extension line all above outside the this figure or otherwise uh, that is uh, what you call view now he has used square hole 15 by 15 so there is something but it not visible so these are the dashed line so you have to omit dimensioning the hidden lines or dash uh, dashed lines so in this case i have omitted this one so where should i show this one in another view For suppose i suppose that from bottom bottom view may help you to locate this square hole okay so unnecessarily don't dimension hidden lines okay see this one so i have located this 15 outside okay so i have located this 20 outside okay next to 40 i have taken this is already 20 so i have mentioned 20 if i wanted to keep that 40 i have to draw this 40 line outside this one okay so that is okay for me and this uh, 10 is uh, i am unable to draw extension uh, that is uh, termination arrows uh, and put to this dimension here so that i have taken from to this side okay so if it is okay the place this text uh, inside or otherwise you can keep uh, outside okay i have taken this uh, he has not uh, uh, given any dimension to this circle so i have to simply mention this one see i have not shown any arrow point to the leader but it is not appropriate so if you draw this one like that one you can show is here not this okay so this is over so understood my point so you have to like that only if not possible you can show like this one. okay no don't show any arrow to this one what my point this is okay instead of that one that is also allowed but moreover more important one is this so this r is not shown anywhere this uh, center of this arc is not known to us it may be far away so if not possible you can show this is a long one as two arrows so there may be somewhere else maybe here maybe here maybe somewhere so you have to simply post like this one otherwise you have to use this center point of that okay so that is okay okay this is okay and this i have given this one if you wanted to draw dimension here so you can take it as from so here you can take like this one okay so he has not it is not crossed anything this ladder can cross boundary or extension line also and anything no one should cross dimension line and dimension text okay so there are multiple choices of this one so i have omitted this square because it is invisible or hidden that is why we have drawn this dashed lines see this one so i won't show anything so i will keep all of this 30 outside 20 has to be modified as r20 and this is okay for this he has mentioned this one he has kept this uh, dimension and ladder outside the figure and uh, if we have wanted to mention so this angular dimensioning has used this one as a extension line so this is not allowed and this is also allowed you can also keep that one but always good 
to keep it outside one and this is 10 entirely wrong and you have to keep outside and you have to uh, that is uh, change the alignment okay next it is also okay for me but as per possible you, this text must be at the middle of this arrow okay dimension line so i have to omit this one why because he has shown only this one because this is hidden so you have to omit this one so see how i uh, uh, could able to draw outside the this figure so this is my figure so you can change anything to anyone they can simply understand instead of meshing of all the things see this one so this 60 degrees i have taken by using these extension lines this must be if it is drawn here like that one even outside this one so this crosses this uh, this thing okay dimension line is crossed by extension line so this should not be done he keeping this uh, here this uh, dimension 60 is entirely wrong okay so that any body line or figure that is view line should not be used extension line must be drawn from the boundary of the figure so that is why i have taken this one so i know this one why that fellow has kept this one that i i don't know but uh, i have taken this uh, as center line okay so this uh, 10 and this as 10 i kept as 20 and the to keep this 10 20 i cannot uh, draw this uh, dimension line or keep this uh, as uh, 10 why because this dimension line is crossed by this extension line that is why i have taken this to this okay so i have taken this 50 as this one uh, 55 same thing and but this is wrong that is why i have taken outside and uh, instead of putting this 70 i have taken 60 and then 10 so the total 70 is satisfied and uh, instead of mentioning here this uh, 10 hole and 10 hole so i have used uh, two holes uh, and uh, the each hole diameter is 10 that is the meaning of this one so you need uh, you can omit this one by putting that one you understand so you have to clearly mention this is the note two holes uh, each uh, diameter uh, is 10 mm and this arc is uh, is taken away here i have omitted this is 20 r is not uh, correct you have to use r20 radius 20 diameter 20 okay so that uh, i hope you understood well you practice well always try to keep uh, all the dimensions lines extension lines everything from outside as far as possible but uh, you have right uh, to keep uh, radius and diameter of the circles inside the view so subscribe if not subscribe and also press the bell button to receive all notification videos and also press the like button